Hello Whitehall Academy! So today I have got an English writing and art video for you and it's combining all three of those sorts of skills. So we are going to be making some adjective art to describe a scene. So I have here, already done for me, my picture of the sun shining in a wood and we have a little river or lake down at the bottom here. So we are gonna be working on describing this. But in order to describe something, we need to know two things beforehand. First, we need to know what is a noun? What is a noun? I am gonna give you some examples and I want you to pause the video when I finish giving the examples and see if you get it correct, as in working out what a noun is. So, table, London, Miss Cooper, T-shirt, have a little think, see if you can work it out for yourself. Did you get it right? So a noun is a person, place or object. So it's a person, place or object, that's a noun. Our next question is what is an adjective? What is an adjective? So again, I'm going to give some examples and you see if you can work it out. Happy, proud, excited, curious, red, fluffy. See if you can work it out. Did you get it right? So adjectives are words that we use to describe our nouns. So we could have the hard table. We could have the happy teacher. Those would be two examples of where we are describing the noun using our adjective. In the next bit, I'm gonna put an example of me using adjectives to improve a sentence. Great. So now we know what our nouns are and what our adjectives are, we can start on our adjective art. Now this is the picture I've chosen to draw. You can draw a different picture of the beach or maybe of under the ocean, in the sea, anything you want. In space would be cool year five, that might be a nice one. But you can draw a picture of anything you want. But I've left some spaces here. I'm now gonna change the camera so we're just looking at the picture and you can see what I do to make my adjective art. Let's go. Okay, so we have our adjective art here. And as I said earlier, it's a wood. So I've got my sun, my river or lake, some bushes down the bottom here, my tree trunks and the tops of my trees. So I need to think of ways I can describe them. So lots of adjectives. If I start over at the sun here, I could say that it is radiant. That means it's shining really, really brightly. I could say it is glowing. I could say it is fiery. That might be a nice adjective for me to use. And if I'm in sort of year four, year five, year six, I could be pushing myself a bit more to not just come up with adjectives, but come up with maybe some similes or some metaphors. So you could talk about the sun and say it is as bright as gold. That could be an example of my simile I might use. Then I've done the sun here. I've got some adjectives for that. I could move on to the trunks of my trees. So I could say they are tall. I could say they are strong. I could say they are rough. That's some examples of adjectives I could use for my tree trunks. Then if I go down to my water bit here, I could say it's glistening. 
And I could say that rippling, so the ripples on the water, I'm describing it as rippling water. That's a lovely idea. I will show you my finished one in a moment and then explain what you could do once you've finished your art. So this is my example adjective art I have for you. I've got gnarled tree trunks. We could talk about the crumbling bark on the tree trunks, the prickly and sparse bushes on the ground, the rippling, transparent, glistening water, the sun that is as bright as gold, the leaves in the trees that are as green as emeralds, the rustling noise of the, the leaves in the trees, the bristling, the dappled look of the leaves, which means lots of different colours. So there is lots of description I have here. And what you could do is use all of these adjectives, all this descriptive language to help you do a short setting description to describe your wood or your beach or your sea scene or your space scene in sentences and even paragraphs to describe everything using all the wonderful ideas you've come up with on your picture. Thank you for watching Whitehall. I hope you're all staying safe still and I hope that's given you lots of ideas for things that you could write about at home using some amazing adjective art. I can't wait to see it all. Miss you all. See you soon.